What's going on there folks? Good evening. It's the Earthmaster here on the live stream with an update video on this Thursday night, June 23rd, 2022, about 7.52 p.m. California time. Latest quake shows looks like a 1.5 earthquake there into the region of California or maybe possibly Nevada. We have seen a little bit of activity ramp up um, specifically right around this area of the Pacific Plate and off the coast of the South America region. Let's go ahead and check out the latest activity kicking up here in this region of the world. USGS showing some of that activity here. Um, looks like a couple earthquakes out here in the Pacific. Got one around the Easter Island area. And also up here, uh, a 5.8 came in as a 5.9 got downgraded a little bit uh, by the USGS in the southern east pacific rise so there's a 5.6 there around easter island southeast of there anyway definitely uh well southeast right <laughs> way southeast uh, but either way definitely quite a bit of activity ramping up here that's some good movement kicking off into the area of the pacific plate uh, and areas eastward might want to watch this area around the Perchelli trench for some further movement following all this activity uh, we have not seen any uh, any subsequent activity following it, but uh, still an area to watch pretty closely. A little bit of movement here into the, uh, well, this is kind of north of Honduras, near the uh, Savannah Bight area. I believe that's right. Uh, looks like a 4.8 coming in into this region in the Gulf of Honduras. Not too much activity uh, has occurred here in this region over the last 30 days. Let me bring up the uh, 30 days of activity we did have a little bit of swarming kick up here around the georgetown area south of there in the cayman islands seen uh, quite a few forests kicking off there but specifically around this area of the plate boundary we really haven't seen too much so kind of newer movement kicking off here around the uh, caribbean plate area looks like uh, some movement up here as i mentioned in nevada with a couple of small microquakes kick uh, kicking up here in this region a uh, little cluster of activity along the San Andreas fault here north of Soledad looks like it's just to the western side here in the mountain range uh, west 25 it looks like highway 25 uh, aside from that let me check the 2.5 and above map not a whole lot going on we did see some activity of course south of the Long Valley area this morning since then though we haven't really seen too much earthquake activity and, and in fact it looks like the swarm that we've been monitoring up here has come to a complete stop uh, which is uh, typical for this area uh, let's see i want to check something here real quick stand by for just a second while i switch this over and i gotta pull up a different window here real quick stand by for just a real quick second uh, let's see here. All right, stand by here. Bring this up for the uh, Long Valley Caldera region. This is the uh, the area where the swarming was taking place. Gonna check out the seismographs. Make sure that. Uh, let's see here if we can get this to kick up here. Oops, I double check that. I do not want that. Hate when that happens. There we go. Uh, yeah, so far as the activity goes, looks like only a handful of earthquakes here on the seismograph station there around Long Valley Super Volcano uh, showing any type of activity, but nothing like we had seen oh, a couple days ago when we seen the, the intense swarm kicking up there. So uh, just, just a handful. Uh, and this goes back over the last 24 hours. So about, I'm, I'm guessing probably six or seven. I'm seeing a little bit more earthquake activity within this region than what's showing up here on the map. So, but uh, overall, in general speaking, it looks like things are kind of tapering off a little bit in, in terms of that swarm. Southern California definitely lighten up along the San Jacinto Fault Zone. Uh, nothing right now on the San Andreas Fault. One earthquake off the coast of San Diego this morning. That was a 1.8 haven't seen any subsequent activity in that area since 
Uh, Texas and uh, the rest of the country, not a whole lot going on. A couple small quakes there around Pecos, but uh, overall things have uh, drastically dropped off here along this area of the North American plate, uh, including up here around the Aleutian Trench. Some of this activity, some older movement along the Aleutian Trench. Kind of looks like, uh, I know we did see some further activity here uh, along the uh, Vanuatu area and westward more specifically around the Middle East regions still trying to still trying to figure out what's going on here with this swarm of activity off the coast of Japan it almost looks like something's definitely building here around this region for some larger scale activity uh, but in the meantime before that happens things seem to be cooking over here along the eastern Pacific and off the coast of South America uh, but also that includes areas around the Atlantic Ocean as well. Kind of back building over here. Uh, the Iceland area did see a 4.5 here in this area. Not for sure if that's associated with a volcano or not. Let me check here and see what we got. Of course, Iceland. Uh, definitely quite a few uh, volcanic features up there. Uh, but for now, just showing up there is a 4.5 near the, uh, what is that, Bagarn Bagarnis? Is that right? Oh man, probably slaughtered it, but that's all right. Uh, and then also a little bit of activity here in the Mid-Atlantic Ridge. We've seen a 5.4, uh, this earthquake, uh, much earlier this morning. So uh, definitely seen a, a little bit of amplification here along the South America regions, uh, also west and east of, of this area. Hawaii is still showing quite a bit of movement kicking up here. Uh, including, looks like a 2.1 ways away from the swarm uh, north of Pahala up towards the Mauna Loa area. This one pretty shallow at 6.4 kilometers just coming in. Uh, we have seen things kind of kick up and ramp up here around the Pahala area. Uh, the rest of the region looks pretty quiet, but still watching this. Uh, Hawaii has definitely been swarming pretty good there on the southeast region. Uh, let's see what else we got. Yellowstone National Park uh, seen a little bit of activity. That was earlier this morning since then. Got some wind events coming in, kind of scattering the uh, seismograph stations there a little bit. Un well, somewhat readable. I'm sure we can decipher some seismograph uh, activity if an earthquake were to happen there. But most of that region uh, was from this morning. Most of that earthquake activity, that is. Uh, the Earthquakes Canada map. We'll check this out real quick. I know we kind of skipped out on it this morning. Let's see what we got uh, up here off the coast or uh, inland, I should say. A little swarm of activity into this region. The latest quake in the Alaska region. Looks like it's 50 kilometers east of Juneau, Alaska, Juneau, Alaska region. Seeing a little bit of swarming activity kick up here uh, in this area not for sure I know there's volcano volcanic activity all up through here but uh, not for certain if this is associated with it or not let me see if um, the USGS is probably not going to pick up on it let's take a peek here and see negative isn't that odd definitely not picking up on it but uh, kind of hard to tell with the satellite view but uh, either way, a little bit of movement kicking up here uh, along the area. Let's see here. Not a whole lot happening around the northern end of the Cascadia. Looks pretty quiet. The rest of Canada looks um, pretty quiet as well, at least in the terms of the last couple of days. Did have some movement down here into the uh what is that sturgeon lake area a little swarm of activity kicking up here in a little confined region a couple threes and some twos there around the ontario area let's see what else we got um do 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 pnsn tremor activity tonight has been somewhat uh looks a little mellow tonight again 34 epicenters of tremor kicking off here mostly uh, looks like Kind of a split deal between Oregon and Northern California, but still southern end of the Cascadia subduction zone kicking up uh, in that area. We'll check out uh, let's check out Crater Lake volcano. Just gonna switch it up a little bit. The Yellowstone area, I mean the uh, 
Mount St. Helens area definitely been seeing uh, some swarming. Um, it looks like Crater Lake area not going to let me access the data here. Crater Lake bunkhouse. All right. None of these seismograph stations are working here. What's going on there, PNSN? Not found, not found, not found. Goodness. None of these. I don't remember last time I checked out Crater Lake here. But it uh, looks like none of those are working. Are we going to get one? Nope. <laughs> what good are they? They're just kind of sitting there. Obsolete. Monitoring nothing. The nothingness. Oh, goodness. All right. I'm going to cut this short, uh, but I am going to cover space weather real quick here, folks. Uh, uh, let's see here. There's no... I, I keep seeing this on Facebook. People talking about a massive solar sunspot, you know, three times the size of Earth. 3038. Well, 3038 is long gone on the western limb. It's not even facing us or anymore. anymore. So it's... Uh, these, these images right here are a little bit on the older side. But, um, yeah, I, I don't know. I mean, it's a couple days ago, yes, it was facing us and it was growing. But uh, some some social media sites putting out uh, today that it's facing us and uh, it's growing rapidly. Well, it's long gone. It's not pa it's It's old news, right? The new news. New news. There's not a whole lot going on coming behind it. We're looking, looking at 3040. I'm going to zoom in here a little bit to this one. Uh, 3040 is about the only spot that may be growing and that will be turning into view. That's the newest development here on the sun. I'll be glad when they get this fixed a little bit. But uh, 38, 3038 is definitely further over there along the western limb. And uh, 3040 uh, kind of facing us a little bit. Looks like um, the coronal holes here, not a whole lot of potential. Uh, for for any major storming coming up, there is a little bit of enhancement on the three-day geomagnetic forecast, but uh, looks like maybe keep KP index of three to four. Whoop de doo But uh, fifty percent chance of higher latitude storming. We'll see if that even comes true or not. But uh, yeah, things just kind of mellowing out here on the sun. Planet alignment. Well, in terms of viewing the planet alignment from Earth, the yeah, others. Uh, early morning event still someone asked me about uh, if these earthquakes in Afghanistan are occurring because of the planetary alignment I'm sure it plays some part in terms of you know the pressure and the uh, whatnot from the magnetic field and I think it all does play a part how much of a part I don't know specifically I haven't really dug too deep into the planetary alignment and uh, plate tectonic um, ordeal it's just uh just kind of a what, what do we got here hold on a second here 2.6 coming in now just just a few minutes ago here to the independence area 8.4 that was not there a little bit ago i've seen something up here on the map what is that Let's see what we got for the uh satellite view not for sure what that was something kind of listed up here but that looks like mars Desert. That's kind of out there on the uh, uh, east of the. Oh, uh, that's pretty close to Death Valley. Really close to Death Valley, ne the uh, northern end. But uh, I don't see any specific fault system this has occurred on. Looks like it's just west of the Tin Mountain Fault. Tin Mountain? Never heard of it. Let's check it out real quick before we leave. Tin Mountain, see if they even uh, have it listed here. The Tin Man, Tin Mountain, not listed at all. So, not for sure what's going on there. But uh, this fault system here is not listed on the Tin Mountain, is not listed on the fault system map. So, at least on the uh, Caltech website. But for now, 2.6, we'll see if it stirs up anything or not. Haven't really seen too much activity out there. Looks like maybe got a little aftershock sequence here following that 2.6. A couple minutes later, variable depths depths there before the, uh, or with the earthquakes. But overall, uh, 
yeah, things just kind of, uh, I don't know, at a standstill currently. Definitely a lot of shuffling around of the plates down here in the south. And uh, I, I still think we're kind of, uh, kind of waiting on something much bigger here along the Middle East before we start seeing things kind of mellow out here backwards or back towards the Eastern Pacific plate here, Eastern portion. Something's got to be brewing here with all the swarming in Iran. The activity in Afghanistan, Pakistan border, continued activity here uh, following all that movement. So just be on guard. Something definitely pop in there pretty soon. I have a strange feeling. All right, guys, stay safe out there. Have a good night. I'm going to bounce out of here. It was a hot 105 degrees. My brain is in overload. I had a lot of school work I had to get done today. Oh, goodness. Remind me to never take summer classes because summer classes are super fast paced and uh, there's a lot, a lot to learn. Anthropology and whatnot, uh, I'm kind of studying some archaeology and a little bit of psychology in there as well. Some fall classes I'll be coming up uh, with uh, geology and whatnot, uh, some weather related stuff. But man, I think my brain needs a little break. Have a good night, folks. We will chat you guys very soon. Make sure you guys subscribe while you're here. We're getting super close to the 75,000 subscriber giveaway. Give away some shirts and also some other prizes. So uh, we, we got to make this happen. Make sure you guys subscribe. Take care, folks.